Hey guys, it's Alicia at Slim Sanity. Um, I've been looking for some different ways to do my meal planning. I typically do weekly meal planning on the blog, but I don't always get around to writing a blog post on time. And I thought that doing a video of what I'm planning and actually prepping might be a little bit more informative and kind of walk you guys through what I get done on a Saturday or a Sunday. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, so I'll just start with, I guess, the beginning of the day, what I would typically eat. Um, these are some peanut butter energy bites that I made last week. They stay good in the fridge for about two weeks, so I typically grab one of these before I go to the gym. And then for breakfast this week, we're going to have burritos, the homemade freezer burritos. I made a big batch of these last weekend. I did some of them with chicken this time, um, chicken, cheese, black beans, and scrambled eggs. And all those probably take about 30 minutes at the most to prep from beginning to end. Lunch this week is going to be crockpot chicken, which I have still going back there. I've got a few hours left on that. And crockpot chicken is super easy. All you have to do is throw your chicken breast in the crockpot if it's frozen, cook it for eight hours on low, and then just shred it up with the tongs. So this week I'm gonna do two different things with the chicken. I'm going to, for a couple of days, do some zucchini noodles. So this is one bowl. I have another bowl of actual sweet potato noodles in the fridge. Those are already cooked. Um, zucchini noodles, you can just throw them in the microwave with your meat for a couple of minutes and they cook at lunch. So these are super easy to prep. Um, and just throw in a Tupperware for lunch the next day. Um, and then the other thing I'm gonna do for lunch this week is crockpot chicken shredded tacos. So I'm just gonna throw some taco meat in, um, add some black beans, we've got avocado and salsa and corn tortillas, and those are gonna be easy to throw together in the mornings for lunch too. So Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna have stuffed peppers for dinner. Normally, I would just make the mix, which takes maybe 25 minutes or so to make and then keep the mix separate and then bake them in the peppers. They take 20 minutes to bake. Um, the reason I made them today is because I did a photo shoot of stuffed peppers. So those are all ready to go. We can just reheat them in the microwave or in the oven for dinner the next couple nights. I made these a paleo version per Kyle's request, but I'm definitely going to put cheese on mine. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're doing shrimp stir fry. So all I did for this was I had to prepare quinoa for the stuffed peppers anyway. So I just made extra. And then I have frozen snap peas. I stuck in the freezer probably um, a couple weeks ago that I had them and then chopped up some fresh veggies. I put these in different containers because I expect the carrots to cook a little longer in the skillet when we make them. So. I'll cook the carrots first and then throw in the other veggies that'll take less time. And then we have shrimp in the freezer as well. So typically for meal planning, I'll do four nights of dinner up to Thursday because Friday lately has been homemade pizza. For snacks this week, I made some banana nut muffins. It's kind of a recipe in progress. These are really good. I made these with steel cut oats instead of quick oats like I did last time. And I think that I liked the quick oats better. They rise a little bit more. The steel cut oats make really dense muffins. Um, but yeah, those are a good snack. And then I have made a fruit dip yesterday. This is going on the blog soon. We've got apples and bananas to pair with this fruit dip. And I've also been doing some salads for snack lately. Um, being pregnant, I eat like all, all the time. <laughs> I'm always hungry. So this salad, this spinach salad with broccoli slaw and cranberries is lunch number two, as I usually call it. So that's it for my meal planning. Um, sorry you guys have kind of awkward glare on my glasses here, but I figured a video was an easy way to show you what I'm meal planning and prepping. I would say that all in all, I took around two hours between yesterday and today food prepping. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes because I'm running around multitasking and doing house chores at the same time. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys like this video. Uh, I can keep them short and sweet. And just let me know in the comments below. 
And if you like them, then I'll keep on doing them because they're a lot easier than putting it up on the blog. <laughs> um, thanks, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.